Guess who's back? Back again. Hi! Okay, so we're going to start off with face. I'm using this serum. It's, um, I don't know the name of it, but I'm going to put everything down below. But I'm also using the Hungarian Thermal Water Moisturizer from Dr. Oh my god, what's his name? Peter Roth Thomas. Absolutely love this. My skin has been so dry lately, guys. You know, it's like four cold days in Miami and my skin's like, what's going on? So, yeah, it's really helped my skin. Then I'm going to prime with, of course, the Professional from Benefit. And I'm just going to beauty blend that all over my face to make sure it, like, sucks everything in. And like I said, four cold days in Miami equals very chapped lips. I'm going to prime my eyes with the Fenty Concealer slash Matchsticks in the color Linen. Um, I wouldn't say this is the best idea because it transferred as you can see, but it did the job. I'm going to go ahead and top it with my Makeup Forever powder just to make sure everything is lock loaded and sealed because don't nobody want creases, right? <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and clean my brushes because they were dirty from the last time. And I'm using the Patrick Star, um, I think this is the Glam AF palette, but I'm using these two colors. Again, don't know the name off the top of my head, but I will list everything down below. I'm going to use this as my transition color. Um, you guys know I cannot start a makeup look without having a transition color. So this is just what I'm working into my crease with just a fluffy brush. I'm just going back and forth. Nothing really special to it. But this is a very important part of the eyeshadow tutorial because y'all can be having unblended eyeshadow, okay? Don't be out here like crazy with an unblended eyeshadow girl, okay? Doing the same thing on the other eye, kind of winging it out. And then I'm going in with a cleaner brush. Just to make sure everything is nice and blended and, again, no creases or weird stuff because we don't like that, okay? Then I'm going in with, I'm thinking, hold on, I'm thinking, oh, a, hey. uh oh, uh oh, I figured out what look I'm going to do so it's lit. Okay, I'm going in with the Tardiest Pro Palette and I'm using, like, let me see the colors, I think it's Mod and Drama. And that's from the Tardiest Pro uh, palette. I absolutely love this palette. I don't know why I didn't have any Tarte palettes, but I'm like shook at the color payoff. So I'm actually using the color Mod, and I'm going in with a tapping motion just to make sure I get the best color payoff I can possibly get. Even though you don't really have to worry about that with this palette, because like I said, the colors are super pigmented. Then I'm just going in with a clean brush, again, blending everything out. There's no such thing as too much blending when it comes to shadows. Then I'm using the Huda Beauty palette, which... <laughs> wow, I am obsessed with. I'm using the color Amethyst, which is this beautiful, like, deep purple and the camera just does not give it justice. This color is crazy. Like, guys, the Huda Beauty Palette, it's not hype. It's literally the best thing ever. I'm obsessed with it. Like, the color payoff is not even normal. So I'm just blending everything out again after every color. I like to blend with a clean brush to make sure everything's good. I went ahead and did this off camera, but I used my Tarte Shape Tape to kind of give myself a cut crease just to kind of prepare for... All the shadows that are going on my lid so right now I'm using the color royal from the Huda Beauty palette and this is going to serve as my base before I put on the topper so I'm like I said prepping my eye and I got some shadow in my eye you know and it hurt really bad now the trick to the toppers is glitter glue so I'm using the NYX glitter glue I'm putting that all over my lid and being very careful because I don't want this to get on my crease. But I'm topping it with the Twilight color. Guys, I can't, I'm, I'm shook. This, it, I, I don't even know. It's this beautiful purple iridescent color that looks blue in some lighting and then looks silver in others. I'm just, I'm obsessed. You know what obsessed is? Because that's, I mean, yes, that's how I feel. I even had to do a little, you know, a little milliwa because it was so good. So I'm doing the same thing obviously on the other eye and I'm using a tapping motion only because I feel that's obviously the, like, honestly I feel like that's the best way to put, apply glitter to the eyes with a tapping motion. Um, personal preference, you do whatever you like. Now I was trying, I was debating whether or not I wanted to do a liner or not. Um, so I ended up just opting out and I'm using these beautiful lashes from Ilore with the Nicole Guerrero collection. Don't know exactly what style, I think they're casually glamorous, um, but don't worry, I'll link everything down below with all the details and stuff. I'm going in with my NARS Luminous Foundation, or is, no, I'm sorry, the Sheer Glow, confuse it for the Armani one. 
dotting it all over my face I'm going in with a brush just because I like to make sure everything is even and looking good and then I go in with my Real Technique sponge which I love very much for concealers I'm using my Shape Tape by Tarte and my Kat Von D it looks a little washed out here guys sorry it's been a while I've been out of the game so I have to adjust my lighting but you get the drift I mean there's really nothing to how I apply my concealer it's just piling it on because you know now this is where I messed up I put serum on my blender and I started going to town and well <sighs> right right mm-hmm yeah so we're not gonna do that again because I just took off all my foundation I'm setting my face with Patrick's powder and guys this is liquid gold the hype is real it really is this powder is so amazing and I was a little concerned because it is pink but it's like it's just perfect nothing to my eyebrows either uh, your girls wolfing I gotta get them done so or I just went through that really fast I'm taking off just the excess powder just because I don't like to look too cakey um and since I am going to go in with more powders with contouring I just wanted to eliminate all the cake I'm going in with the shade and light palette um right or at least what used to be the shade and light palette uh yeah mm -hmm. and i'm just going in with more powder because i was going for a kim k in 2010 look you know when she was just very 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 light in her under eye now with my matchsticks from fenty i'm just gonna do a little bit of you know a little snatching this color is a little bit too gray and i realized that at this moment but there was no turning back, so I'm just going to make it work. This is, I believe, amber, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it's just way too gray. So I'm going in again with the bronzers from the Kat Von D palette. And we're going to try and make it work because there's really nothing we can do. So we're just going to go ahead and bronze up my face. Bringing color back to my face, I'm right now kind of just chiseling. And then I'm going in with bronzing. A lot of people do it the other way around. This is just what works for me, but feel free to do whatever you'd like. Um, this is Give Me Sun by MAC. This one I always kind of get afraid with because it is a little bit red for my skin tone. But if it's blended with other colors, I feel like it could work. Um, but as you can see, it's it's very red. What is up with my lighting? Get it together, light. Gosh. So now we're reverse, con re reverse contouring. You know, cheekbones. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I did that. Um, using the Patrick powder. Nothing to this really, just wanted to clean it up. It's a NARS kind of tutorial girl. We are using the Oldie But Goodie Orgasm Blush by NARS. If you guys want to see this blush, you die because it's literally in shambles. I've dropped it so many times. For highlight, I'm going in with Starstruck. Again, this is from the Fenty uh, Collection by Rihanna, which I'm obsessed with. And I always like to start off my highlight with a cream-based and going in with the Nicole Guerrero um glow palettes i'm using i believe it's kitty cat and 143 right because we're gonna right we're still highlighting yes yes we are i'm that obnoxious person don't care um i'm using lit i believe is the color um on my inner tear duct just to illuminate a little bit more and this gorgeous purple liner that i got from maybelline mm -hmm. right maybe let me tell y'all something do not sleep on Maybelline because I love their eyeliners. Their Eye Studio Liquid Liner or their Gel Liner and this liner, awesome. I love the color payoff of Maybelline. Um, so now I'm just going in with that same color Amethyst into my lash line. And I'm going in with the color ooh, Blazing and I believe it's Saffron, which are like these really pretty orange and red colors. Just because I wanted to have like a really smoked out effect. And then I'm coating my lashes with mascara just to make sure everything's nice and blended. And my lips played me, y'all. I wanted a nude lip and I thought I was doing a good job. But when I saw my pictures, it, it totally washed out. So I don't know if it was... I don't think it was the lipstick. I feel like where I went wrong was maybe applying the Fenty Gloss Balm, which I'm about to apply in just a minute. This is a puff powder lip lip color from NYX which I love but I feel like this is where I messed up right over here not here somebody was talking to me and I just got really annoyed like, stop talking I'll be ready when I'm ready damn it 
Um, so this is the gloss bomb, and I feel like this is where I went wrong because it washed out my color a lot. So now I'm just making sure everything's nice and blended and I look good for the god setting my face with my girl Brittany's um, skincare line. I'm not even going to say the name because I'm going to butcher it. Sorry, Brittany. But anyways, this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm glad to be back and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!